Close your eyes. Watch your breath. If you want, you can use a meditation word along with the breath. You go but in, to out, but to, but to. It's the title of the Buddha. It means someone, someone who is awake, someone who has gained some control over his mind, so he can put his mind in good shape. That's what we're trying to do as we meditate, is put the mind in good shape. It's like the body and be in good shape. Difficulties come, well, you're in good shape, you can, you can fight them off, deal with them, because you're strong and fit. And the same with the mind. Issues come up in the mind. If the mind is strong, the mind is fit, then you can deal with them. Some people learn to have a blessing that says, may you meet with nothing but nice things all the time. We are, we are the blessing at the end of the chant, may you forever be well. It's a wish, but it's not a very realistic wish, because it's going to be there are going to be things outside happening that don't go in line with what we want. But you can make sure that your mind is always well. That's something you can do. So try to bring the mind to the breath, let it settle down, have a sense of ease as you breathe. And think of the quality of being awake as you're at ease. And this is healing for the body, it's healing for the mind. And it gives the mind strength, and you're much better positioned to see what should be done in any situation, and you have the strength and the willingness to do it. That's the mind in good shape. Otherwise, we just go from one thing we don't like to another thing we don't like to another thing we don't like, and it gets pretty heavy for the mind. Gets burdensome, and the mind gets weaker and weaker because it doesn't have any nourishment. Here we're nourishing the mind, giving it good food, giving it a chance to rest. So its discernment becomes clearer. This is much better than just simply sleeping. When you sleep, you don't learn anything. But when you bring the mind to stillness and you're perfectly alert and awake, you learn a lot of things about the mind. You see where it causes self-harm. And see how you can stop doing that harm. So this is good treatment for the mind, good exercise for the mind. So we can live in this world with all of its ups and downs and its gains and loss and praise and criticism and status and loss of status and pleasures and pains. We can live in this world and not suffer and not cause anyone else any suffering. That's a really useful skill to develop and to master. So look after your mind every day. When you look after the mind, then you've taken care of the most important part of your life. And other things, whether they're good or not, won't matter, because the mind is in good shape. <laughs>